Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about graphing categorical data. If you look at the last video, you'll see what categorical data is. And that's what basically when they give us our data, and the data could fall in categories. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, look at a bar graph. Whenever we're graphing categorical data, the two best graphs are a bar graph and a pie chart. So let's just do a quick example with this. So let's say we ask 10 people. Let's say we ask 10 people. We ask 10 people. Okay, whether they're wearing shoes, sandals, or other. Okay, so a bar chart would be basically like an x, y, an x, y axis. Okay? And we have two ways to do these and we'll go ahead and do the one for each situation. Okay. So let's go back and say for the shoes, this would be our data. Out of the 10 people, Okay, six were wearing shoes. Out of the sandals, we have two. And out of, and two were wearing other. So basically we wanna label our, our bar, we wanna label our x-axis with the categories. So we'll go ahead and put shoes here. We'll go ahead and put sandals. We'll put other. And the same thing here shoes, sandals, and other. Okay, so let me put other here. And what we want to do is we could do these as two different ways. We could do these as accounts, or we could do that as a percentage of the whole. Okay, and the whole being 10. So let's go ahead and do it as a percentage of the whole. So the way we do this is shoes. Okay, we had 6 out of the 10, which is just 0.6, or you could say 60%. So we'll go ahead and label this, and I'll put a color that I could see. This would be 50%. So here, since shoes is 60%, we'll go make a box, and it'll just be a rectangle that's at 60%. If you notice, I just went a little bit over the, uh, a little bit over the 50%. Okay, so now let's look at the next one, which would be sandals. And sandals would be two over 10, which is basically just 20%. 20%. Now I want to go to the sandals, and I want to go a little less than halfway up there. So that'd be my sandals, and one, the other would also be the same thing, because uh, other also had two out of 10. Okay, and the next one's a little more obvious. This is counts. So you can put our count as five, six, one, two, three, four, something like this. Let me pick a different color here. And counts out of the 10, we have six. Out of the sandals, we have two. And out of the other, we have two. So basically that's how you read them. You come over to here and then you just scan over. So that was two. So I could have given you this counts and you would have known how many um, each uh, category had. So the sandal had two. And then to get the percents, you could have said two, six, two, and two would have been 10. And we could have easily made a percent graph. Okay, so the pie graph's a little bit different, but pretty much the same idea. Now it's important to understand on this pie chart that under the curve we have 100%. So 100% of all of our data is in here. Okay, so we need to, we need to go with our 60%. Okay, 60%. So 60% is a little bit more than 50%. Okay, so you always want to graph the biggest one first. 
So if I was going to do this, I would separate it. I would come here to about halfway. Okay? And then I want to cut this thing a little bit more than half. A little bit more than half. Okay? So this is going to be my shoes, which account for 60% of the whole. Okay, so what's left here? If there's 60% in here, the whole thing's 100%, so there's 40% left over here. So basically what I want to do is cut this section over here in half. Cut this section over here in half. Okay, the best of my ability. Let's look. That looks pretty close. Okay, so if this is 60, then the remaining two of these are 20% and 20%. This is how I always do pie charts. I always do the largest one first, and then the next largest, the next largest, until I have the smallest. That's a great strategy to use when doing pie charts, when making them on your own. Okay, so my other two, my other two data points are the sandals, and the other 20% had other, okay? Which, uh, now that I think about it, I'm not sure what other would be. Maybe 20% showed up barefoot. I don't know. I had a student one time tell me, she looked at a college and they, when she went to observe a class, a lot of the kids in the class were barefoot, which is sort of strange, but I uh, guess it's a good thing that they're going and it sounded like a pretty good college. So anyways, uh, thanks for listening and have a nice day.